Hello everybody, it's Rosemary. Um, I've been going mad this week. I've been going mad this week. I am. Um, yeah, I've had a good week. Um, my, no, not really. My son um, isn't very well, and he usually goes and gets the weekly shop for me, and. He said to me, yes, so can you come with me because I really don't feel very well. So I went with him and we only went to Asda and they were doing actually some good deals in there. So I managed to get this. Um, it's just white children's paint because I thought if I painted everything first with this, I'd save on me white acrylic paint because you go through so much of that when you're painting chipboard and stuff. So I thought I'd use this as like a primer undercoat. So I got that, see how that works out. And then I saw this and it is just the sparkliest paint you've ever seen. Uh, it's silver, but I thought, oh, might be worth a play. So I got that. I mean, both of them, like, I think this one was one twenty-five, and this one was a pound, uh, pound fifteen. sorry. So I got those. I got some binder clips. They're only, like, the little... I can't see them. Um, you know, the little bulldog clips that I can't get out of the packet. No, not coming out. I have a win. Yay! You know, these little things. We're only Diddy, little tiny little clips. So I got those. I think they were 125. So I thought, damn the expense, I'll have them. So yeah, I got those. And you know those um, naked kits that you can buy desk tidies and stuff like that um well they had those and when they were in the shop a few weeks ago when i was in there with my son they were a fiver i thought huh, i'm not paying that but when you know they're yesterday and you got the whole kit for two pound so i thought that was brilliant so you get a letter rack sorry for that you get a note tablet in a box and a massive brick of paper in there and I do like to doodle so I'll use that in a couple of weeks it'll be gone um, you get a pencil box this big fire thing I don't know what they were in there so what you call them but yeah, I thought I'd decorate these up. It's something to do, isn't it? And you get the big tray. So, all that for £2. So I thought, yay, I'll have one now. So, got that. And like I said, for £2. Can't go wrong, really, can you? Anyway, um, I am making some things at the moment, but I haven't finished them, so I won't show you them yet. Um, but I thought I'd show you something I made a couple of years ago when I was crafting in my bedroom and this is a box that I made back then which was a couple of years ago so this is the box um, my lights don't help I'm afraid I'm going to have to move the camera sorry everybody Let's see, it's better. Right, it's got a little blue bow, which is sequins, with a blue gem on the middle and one either side. Um, it's got some little butterflies, some flowers, metal flowers, metal fans, some bling, a ribbon. Everything came from the pound shop on the bits on top, all the gems, ribbons and charms. This didn't, this was um, Cane Company ribbon. Um, and I just tore up some 12 by 12 papers and 
laid them on top with some PVA glue. Now that just holds my glues. <laughs> Not all of it, it's just tubes and things I keep in there. So that's that. Hold on a sec. Um, and I'm sure you must have noticed the box in my previous video uh, when I was showing you the wood. I made this um, when I was in my bedroom crafting because my husband put me up a shelf and it really wasn't enough because it was just so cluttered with so much stuff and my bedroom always looked like a bum had gone off and um, I thought mm, I'll make something to go up there and I bought my husband a phone, a new mobile phone, and it came in this big box. It's huge. I'll show you. Hold on, everybody. Anyway, this is the box. It's quite wide, as you can see. It's big. And it's long. And what I did was um, I covered the whole thing in torn up paper. PVA glued that on. Um, on the inside, um, open some side. On the inside, I put in two shelves. Um, decoupaged it all up. There's little uh, wedges underneath the shelves that holds the shelves in place, and that's where I keep my gypsy and all the gubbins that go with that, all the cables and everything. So at least I know where that is. That's all in there. And like I said, I de uh, decoupaged all the paper on on the door and everything with PPA glue. Um, this little door handle is, this was a button. And in there, um, yeah, trying to, oh, I'm not going to show you on that one. Now, if you can see here on this one, that bit there is rolled up card and then the button's stuck on top and then the whole thing's covered in paper. Uh, and on the front of each one, there's a little flower. Uh, on top of this one, I put a little gem. And this tassel, um, this little tassel here is velvet ribbon. Okay, so about that long, folded it in half, used one of the ribbons as the dangly bit, wrapped a piece of black velvet ribbon around it, tied it off, and there's my little tassel. You've got to have a dangly bit, haven't you? And it just closes like that. So, on the front, I have these two flowers I made. Um, these are push out butterflies, they come on a card, you just push them out. Um, these are, the, I don't know what they're called, um, but they came from the wedding creations thing, the netty things, I don't know what else to call them, little netty things, like, I think they're supposed to be a leaf, but yeah, so there's a couple of those in there. Um, all these little flowers here uh, from the pound shop, these little roses around here, I don't know if it's actually picking those up. Um, yeah, my lighting's not very good and I can't actually move anything very well because my son brought all this with him and I can't move anything. There you go. Let's see if this helps. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> it's just made it worse. Mm, no. I tried. Anyway, um, there's all little roses here underneath. And I put sparkles on them, um, stickles. And uh, the hinges are just card thick thick cardboard from a box um, you know like a, a packing box um, and I just bent them shaped them and stuck three on 
covered them over with the same paper and put a gem on each one. Um, it's got everything basically on here apart from the flowers I made is from the pound shop. The papers are not. Um, I don't know whose papers they are. They were a big pack I bought from a craft club that I joined a long while ago. Um, you got a big, I think it was 200 sheets in a box for about £4, which I thought was pretty good at the time, so I bought those. Um, they came all in the 12 by 12 box, plastic box with a lid. So it was a pretty good deal, really. So, yeah. Uh, so that's how I'm... <laughs> one of my roses fell off. Uh, yeah, so that's how I made that, anyway. Um, so I just thought I'd show you those. Um, like I said, I am in the process of making something at the moment and I can't actually show it to you because it's not done and I don't want to give anything away so um, you'll have to wait and see. Um, I also did make a little bird, another one. He's feathered, let's see if this will show up any better from here. There he is. He's got a blue eye and he's got feathers. And he's black and blue. See? Um, and that's from the Tim Holtz dye. I do like messing around with the feathers. Um, and I think he looks better actually with the feathers. But I'm biased, that's my opinion. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, the other thing is I'd like to thank everybody with their offers of mini bottles and tags and you know, everybody's ideas for the closure on my box. I really appreciate it. You've all been very, very kind. Um, I really can't thank you all enough for all your kind offers of bottles. It's just been wicked. It's really blown my mind. I only expected someone to tell me where I could get some. Um, so, yeah, so I really appreciate that. So thank you very, very much. Um, and uh, I'll be back soon with my new project and I hope you're going to love it. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. See you soon.